When you buy Phoenix, you buy local. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>shirt guy red shirt red shirt we're red shirt, red i mean we were gonna record something and then it kind of had Fizzle. some issues yeah um yeah because we got the weekend yeah yep uh, and then no more time <laughs> how we doing well i've been very busy uh doing stuff and things yeah doing stuff and things had a a lot of ups and downs in the yeah. past couple days <laughs> And it's been wild. Absolutely wild. I would say an overall positive week, though. Yeah. You and Lydia do anything for Valentine's Day? Or, like, it sucks because I had my first day on oh. Valentine's Day, oh. so that sucked. Uh, but yeah, we, we did. Uh, I wish we could have, like, went out and like that. But yeah. I went to go dinner. see... Uh, Puss in Boots. Oh yeah. The last yeah, 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 yeah. Um, amazing. <laughs> Honestly, like a phenomenally good, like family-friendly movie. Yeah. Like, like obviously it's got like like it's it's goofy, it's silly, but like yeah, for the most part, there's not a lot of like bad writing or anything. But like like it's good, and the animation is so cool. It's, have you seen uh, Into the Spider Verse? Yeah. You know how in some of the fast actions it looks a little framey, but it's kind of cool. I haven't like, watched it in a while, but it, I, it's I, almost like they reduced the frame rate, maybe to make things a little cheaper for fast motion. But they do that in it, and it looks great. A lot of the character design is super cool. The animation is phenomenal. Um, character design is all cool. Florence Pugh is in it, so obviously I'm in love with her. Um, Who's that? Um, and I went to go see it with the heck. Sorry, oh. I just read Nick's message watching the stream on your S23 Ultra. Battery life has been insane. You unplugged it yesterday at 8 a.m. Haven't touched a charger since. Dude, that's the Still thing at about 52 percent. That's the thing about uh, yeah, comic book panel style. Yeah, um, but that's the thing about big phones, and especially as processor like like high performance processors are getting more efficient, like. I still like, it's been about a year with this and I've had almost zero battery degradation with it, which like normally with like older Android phones, I get to the year mark and I'm starting to like, end of the day is like 23%. If I'm on my phone all day, I'll be at like 25% of the phone. Yeah. 25% uh, of the battery by the end of it. But, um, I fold is the same way. Like it's just hard. Cause, cause like you've got two batteries in there. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they do or not, but it feels like they do. I think they do have two batteries. It should there. be one on each side. Um, but we went to um, uh, the Alamo Draft House Theater. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you been there? Yep. I think I've been there like once. And... They serve you food at the, like in yeah. the movie theater. You get to eat at, at, in your seat. They bring you the food. And the tickets aren't that much more expensive than like going to like AMC. Dude, that's old news though. Like these. Doing that for a while. No, I, I'm aware, but I haven't been there before, so I'm just very excited. I mean, I um, I couldn't really like afford like, to get anything, so I didn't get anything. Yeah, so it was just like uh, a it was just like a, a really nice movie theater for me. You ever heard of Hollywood? Mm -mm. Uh, Hollywood Theater, and they did it. Thirty years old or something. 
It sucks because there was like a movie theater like really, really close to State's campus uh, and went out of business. The uh, uh, girl I went with, we agreed. I, I bought the tickets and she bought the food. So uh, nice. Even split. And uh, I had chicken tenders. Tendies. Chicken tendies. Chicken tendies while you're on your date at Puss in Boots. Alamo like has a uh, craft beer or something, don't they? I think so, yeah. Two more weeks? Oh. Hell, com oh. computer? Oh, the big old order. Computer? Oh boy, it's flashed. But you know what? You all, you all have been poking and prodding me. Red shirt, red shirt, red shirt. <laughs> it's time to rebel. Uh oh. I'm rebelling. Pink. Give it a second. Oh, you're okay. Um, <laughs> Ryan's changing into a bikini. Hold on. Oh, I forgot about the bikini. <laughs> Don't give into the Twitch algorithm. <laughs> Too late. It happened. I'll come in in a bikini top. I'd be a little worried about spillage with a bikini bottom. We're not proud, but it happened. Ryan's mom right now is gritting her teeth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nick, what the fuck is that? Oh, okay. What is that? <laughs> what the butt is that? <laughs> a booty hole, if I've ever seen one. Oh, yeah, jean butt. Jean butt. Tight, tight jean butt. Ooh, so handsome. Ah. <laughs> ah. Joke's on you. No, no bikini. No bikini in on Ryan. Ryan Instead, didn't. He's. Uh, Ready like, for like white a, a formal a, a semi formal lunch with a uh, with the professor. I don't know. Uh, I I literally had to I had to buy these these clothes. I did not have anything. I hate when they make you do that. Well, like to be fair, it's probably more like me just kind of like wanting something a little more presentable. I don't know, cause like like it was dress code, but at the same time, if there's no one there really like. Packing up, because that was funny. Because like, I basically uh, I I uh, started a, a job, and, a cheap uh, real job. Get a cheap tux uh, and wear that. Yeah. Had the. Uh, I bet you get more sales. Show up and like it was funny because I like worried so much about like getting clothes that would actually fit dress code, and then he showed up in like regular plain clothes. And I was like. Come on. Damn Hypocrite. <laughs> when I worked at AutoZone, you had to wear black shoes, uh, black pants, and a, like a red collared shirt. You didn't have, you'd have to just go buy a red shirt. So I just went to Target and I bought a red collared shirt. Yeah. And I think I still have it. And um... he was like fire retardant pants. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the dress code was, the dress code is like uh, dark, Topped shoes, or basically just like somewhat like nice looking shoes, uh, like solid color pants, uh, no jeans, no shorts, mm -hmm. no like rips in the in the. It's at least wear underwear. Or whatever. <laughs> that's well, you work from home, so that's a good that's a good uh, good starting point. That's funny. Yesterday, you guys are like, "Oh, I just got this in the mail." I was like, "Damn it, now I gotta put on pants. <laughs> I gotta go check my mail." And then the the shirt has to be like a like solid color collared mm -hmm. shirt. Well, you don't want like one of those collared shirts from the uh, '80s with like the white collar and like the blue or yellow I, uh, I have, body. I have one collared shirt, uh, and it has like stripes on it. And oh, it's okay. like not the best looking. Sure. Like, it's not <laughs> ugly. It's just like not quite. I want you to look at your uniform. Uh, if I ever make grade, I get to wear a suit. Oh? 
What's the new job? I don't mind talking about it, but at the same time, um, like, I don't know. I I don't I really, proud I, I have to leave in a couple minutes. I don't really want to get into it. Um, <laughs> I'll talk about the job that I interviewed for. I hate my life. <laughs> I uh, interviewed, I'm not going to say the name of the place, but I interviewed for a 3D printing company uh, that does some super fancy like 3D printing stuff. And I applied to work as just a, just a finisher. So the parts come out baked in what's called a part cake. And it's just because um, with SLS printing, it's like they lay down a layer of dust, essentially melt it, in the pattern it needs to be and then they do that over and over again so you end up with this like 24 by 24 by 24 block of of uh nylon with parts and powder all in it and um you have to like break it out and find the parts and yeah. then you blow them off use picks to get all the dust out and it's just that it's just finishing up it's just making sure they're clean and they're uh ready to go to the next stage of finishing and if uh if all goes well i think i think i'm I'm fairly confident that the interview went well and that I could learn pretty quickly because there's a 90 day training program or period. Um, yeah. And uh, be there and they don't need to know. Or, uh, it is something yeah. though that unless this picks up like crazy, I would try and weasel my way into like still doing at least two days a week because it's just something interesting. And I think long term it could be uh, one, like, a good relationship to have for a large scale 3D printing company. Yeah. Uh, but then also just personal experience hands on with, with that kind of like measuring. And cause later on, like in the final stages of finishing, they do things where they like insert, um, uh, like they do inserts for being able to like thread holes or thread bolts in and that kind of stuff. And, uh, and then there's like dying to change the color um, and uh you know measuring and quality control and all that kind of stuff so i think that would be as far as like sort of like not mindless but like sort of like good low problem solving type deals yeah. i think that would be cool uh what's well, like general description it's it's like a sales job basically and I, i'm quickly finding out that i uh i'm not very uh, sales oriented. Less motivated when you when person. you have a stake in the product. <laughs> yeah, like, or when you don't have a stake in the product. Yeah, I'm just not. Lurk. Lurky. Lurk. I'm not super uh, having a good time. Lurky. Lurky lurking. Lurk 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 lurk. Have a good day, sweetie. Okay. Well, well sweaty. I would uh, rather be here with you guys, but uh, unfortunately not. I have to. I have to go. Keep thinking of that wow kid. Oh god! <laughs> I hate my life. <gasps> Posh point oh did a. Uh, what was it? The like viral remix or whatever his uh, thing was, where he'd like confront people about whether or not it was a real video, and. Um, I remember the end scene to that like bit was him taking a controller out of a big vat of petroleum jelly and the kid like screaming like it was fake. Imagine getting so mad that you shoved a remote <laughs> up your b-hole. Came back from an interview repairing RF scanners and mobile barcode scanners. That sounds, well, what do you think of the job? <laughs> Sounds like some technician uh, style interesting stuff. Play with mains power. Oh, for Dunsky. Oh, and Boss, love it. Hell yeah. Yeah, I like being able to operate sort of like. If I'm going to do like a sort of like hands-on job where um, it's pretty like cut and dry and re not, maybe not repetitive, but um, sort of more like technician stuff. I like to be very self-sufficient. I don't, I don't like to be micromanaged. I would rather, cause I like, I'm pretty, like I know that I'm pretty good about knowing when I do and don't know something. Um, uh, 
So like, I'm pretty good about asking questions when I don't know how to do something. I will say that sometimes it borders on annoying that sometimes I definitely ask too many questions because I get nervous about fucking something up. And uh, that was that was one good thing about being if you wanted to, you could like not talk to someone the entire day. Mm -hmm. You mess up. Yeah, you're going to hear it. You're asking. probably from several people. How many bosses did you have or was it just sort of one general manager for the shop? Uh, it depended on shop. Mm. Sometimes like it would have like one job and they would split it into two. So if two people would have like. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Oh, the magnets oh, came out. Fuck, I love magnets. Usually you don't have to talk to like. There's a foreman and then like a service director. Then you have a team leader. I don't know. If it was a bad day, you talked to three people. <laughs> All business loans. Yeah, we've uh, definitely been down that road a lot. Yeah, I, I thought it would be a good idea to like put my number and like email and that kind of stuff. Um, that kind of stuff. And I get constant calls from, from <laughs> people trying to sell me fucking loans. And they're all bad deals. They're all high interest and short term, which makes sense because we're a small, fresh company. No one's going to give us a, a decent rate over, you know, two years. We're all like needy um, breakups too. Like. And uh, holy shit, there was one guy that was like, what are you looking for? A lot. Ethan. And... Um, Job talks. It's just it's just so annoying because you get them on the phone, like like every now and then I'll like sort of like recognize the number or it'll be from somewhere that like okay I probably have to answer this just in case. Um, like there was one from uh, near where my grandparents lived, and uh, the storm had just hit, so I was like oh god maybe they're calling me from another number. Um, and it was some just some loan underwriter or whatever, and I was like, no, we've we've put our hold or we've put our, our search on on hold like pretty pretty seriously, and they're like, well, let me just run through, and I'm like, no, mm -hmm. no, like really, we, we're not looking right now. We just it's not something we can afford to do at the moment. Like we need to we need to get some more time under our belt. And it's like, well, let me just what's a good no. email? Let me just <laughs> let me just send you a couple options. And I'm like, fuck, no, stop. No, thank, no, thank you. No, thank you. I know you get paid for this right now, but I hate you. <laughs> like uh, in um, what is it? Star Wars: Rise of the Skywalker, the little uh, droid BD One, or not BD One? Uh, not BB Eight. The 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 Sith robot that they find later on, oh, or whatever. What the was little his name, like K or something. Cone head or whatever it was. I think it was K. Um, well, in Rogue One, there's K Two S O. Yeah. Uh, but this is in Rise of the Skywalker. But uh, when I think it was either R2 or maybe six. something tries to touch it and it backs away and just goes, no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I love twist ties. No. <laughs> Quite. You get part-time jobs doing this. Right? I'm, I could be somebody's uncle. And twist ties on single cables. Like, 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 why? I just, I want to talk to somebody. I just want to talk to them. All right, you just go up and point at it. Be like, why come? Why come? Why come this here? Why you do this? I'm gonna take some more magnets out of some of the other LED strips. Not this, just this company either. It's multiple companies. Love this case. I just want to find out why. Like everyone's out. Yeah. No, this great. This case is great. The the routing options are phenomenal. It's just how the cables come, like, pre. It's. Do the single cable. Got a twist tie on it. 
and you untwist it and it lets go of the single cable oh. and they're on every single cable Arky. Classic. I, I'm in love with our new uh, RV. Uh huh. I love that case. Can't wait till we get the white pictures up. We are taking pictures today of the white one we built. That'll be up on the site. Damn, this magnet is really in there. Get yourself in a pickle. It's nice that this case comes fully fanned. Yeah. Not fully fanned. Our application is because we have a 240. Mm-hmm. fans here though <laughs> okay one day you we put will, them in <laughs> one day we will put fans there but they're just gonna blow right up against the uh no matter fan spots <laughs> fan spots a fan spot fill it thinking about pre-R last night. I'm enjoying this uh, startup deal. Like, yeah, it's a struggle, but struggle's good. I would rather be, str like, I do bitch and moan a lot every now and then, but I would rather be struggling here than at somewhere that... We're just joking about it. Everybody likes to, uh, everyone likes to bitch and moan. That's going to bitch and yeah, I've been joking about eating uh, peanut butter, crackers, and multivitamin for the past couple of months. I haven't been doing that. I've been eating lots of food. I have been eating a lot of rice and beans, though. Yeah, a lot of rice. That $40, oh my god, dude, we just got a really nice air fryer. Holy. Oh, fuck yeah. It does so much stuff. It's like a toaster oven. Yeah. And especially like this, this like to struggle with this this early in our lives is like it's sort of it's almost like like champagne problems, so to speak. Like, well, think about it. We don't have we don't have any investors, so we don't owe them anything. Yep. When it's all by ourselves, we obviously have like little bits of help from obviously all you guys and whatnot. But just like financially, luckily, we are. We chose hard mode. Yes, we did. <laughs> Although, honestly, I don't know if it would be not hard mode with investors. Like, obviously, we'd have like financial, a little more financial freedom, but we'd also be like Sweating. under somebody's thumb. Yes. Ninja air fryer. That's what I have. It's like a big toaster oven. Does everything. Cooks pizzas and ah, drop screws. Oh, there's one more in here. There he is. Up oh, two more. Ah. You were that kid at his own table in kindergarten playing with the magnets, weren't you? Happiest, yeah. Boss, you can float in the pond. Dude, if you guys don't have a Ninja air fryer, 
Get out right now and go buy one. I think we have an air fryer. I don't remember what brand it is. Life changing. I had a regular little air fryer with like the little bucket, you know, and you just yeah. put it in there. How big is the one you have right now? It's like a full size like toaster oven. It has like five levels or something. Uh -huh. Cook anything, like cookies and you bake, whatever. That's cool. Toasting my ham and turkeys in there. Royal option. Yeah, that forty dollar rice cooker has probably been saving me the most money. Basically the same thing. Heck. Sure they have tons of companies doing that same thing. Big model. We just been putting like tin foil on all the uh, all the trays and stuff that we use. We don't have to like really clean up. Easier to clean that way. If I do like sandwiches, I'll just leave the tin foil in there for a while. Uh huh. Is there anything? Yeah. Bread just sits on it. Where you let the the oils from your other juices? The juices cook cook stuff. I like electric stuff. Never stayed in a place with gas. We had gas heating in the apartment I lived in one year in college, uh, and it was expensive to keep the heat going, especially up north. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on my stream. Store. Good God. Ten steps to become quickly banned. <laughs> Ah. Oh, sold. <laughs> God, I love when people come in and solicit their. Uh... How to get banned in under 10 seconds. Yeah. Here. <laughs> New record. I wonder how many followers on Twitch are fake. Like, like how many people with. That are like fresh. It's just the desperate to the scene. people. How many people are like fresh to the scene and are desperate enough to buy fake followers? And I wonder how much it like inflates. Uh, I wonder how much it actually like inflates the uh, number of, of users on Twitch. Is, does it create fake profiles? Bunch of usernames. Bots. I bet if you looked at ours, you could probably see like they like they embed themselves in like everybody's channel. It's so yeah. annoying. Hundred bits. Thank you. But the uh, Twitch doesn't care. Twitch uh, doesn't care until you make a stink about it. Yeah. We we had a shit ton of 
We got follow botted at one point. Oh yeah. And it put us at what, like 47 something. Yeah. And we are now back below 4,700, but we've also been slowly, I feel like it's been like sort of a one for one where it's like, we'll see a bunch of new people follow us, but our follow count won't go up at all. Or it'll have gone down a couple of them because they have like slowly removed those bots. According to some, the internet is dead. What? Huh. What does that mean? Inside? Hey, pasa. Bitta, bitta. You bought it every stream. He would. Oh, we were trying to. I want to dual stream on uh, TikTok, but you cannot get a stream code from them. Is not possible. Every view bot in every stream, but even only view bot exactly 75 people. Person talking in chat, he got partnered and turned his bot off. <laughs> At an average of four viewers. Jesus. That's scary. I was even talking to this like agency for a while, and they're like, Yeah, we can get you a stream code. Like, oh, you guys have never streamed on TikTok before. We don't want that. Well, we want to stream on TikTok. Because, yeah, because you haven't given us a fucking key. Like, <laughs> the idea that they've outsourced, um, I can hook you up, I'm in an agency. Oh, yeah? Oh? Is it, is it like, totally free and I don't want, like, a 1.5% <laughs> click or that? something? Uh, Emo kit O. Oh. Nice. Old roommate's face. Oh no. Board. Oh, the platform transfer to TikTok. I'd be sick if we could dual stream on here. I mean, technically not breaking the rules because it's a mobile platform. And Twitch just says you can't stream on another website based. Yeah. yeah. The agent manager was another platform and transferred to TikTok. There's a lot of people doing the dual stream right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, streaming on TikTok would be cool. Chicken and talking. And. Chicken and piggy dipping. Anyone remember piggy dipping? And piggy dipping. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm reminded every night because my cat, we have this water fountain. It just goes over the water fountain with his hand. Like, he cleans <laughs> its feet. We call it piggy dipping. Piggy dipping. Piggy, piggy dipping dippin in the piggy pond. It just like other one sticks this big paw in there and just like licks it and then sticks it in there and licks it. And... Why? <laughs> the other cat's just watching. It's like you mother sticking your feet in my water. Stream to the hub, like Pornhub. The hub. Like, can you stream on porn? Oh, I thought that was like it was like live. You just see us on their building TV. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. Can you stream to Pornhub? Like, does it need to be porn? Or can you just do it? Because we should do that. That would be re <laughs> really funny. Like, Mom, Dad, I'm on Pornhub. What? Good way to get canceled probably pretty quick. Um, I don't know. You might This get one brave it. PC integrator is <laughs> taken to Pornhub. There is a guy who teaches math there. I've seen those memes. Uh, I've never, I've never he felt the need to like look those out, <laughs> like look for those. But he teaches math on Pornhub. He Hub? teaches math on Pornhub. That's awesome. Very uh, wholesome. The only wholesome content on that website. <laughs> only one still out in a church. A 
you can upload content there. There is a where that has a paid and gameplay content. Does that mean like he's wide wells gems wire into socket? Yeah, I'd watch that. That's funny. Uh, does so banned ga gameplay content? Is this man just like playing video games naked or? I mean, I have a feeling, if I'm being honest, and I do not mean this careful <laughs> to offend anybody. If you think you probably shouldn't say, you probably shouldn't probably say. Probably shouldn't, but the, the intersection uh, of people that like are <laughs> in feces and people that watch porn are probably, I mean, porn's a normal thing for the most part, as long as you're not going two, overboard. Two PCs, one stream. Two PCs, one stream. But yeah. I mean, is that an unfair statement? We're gonna get shut down. <laughs> Banned. Oh. Vinny Vine Sauce does it, but YouTube. He's taking his cock out. <laughs> oh my god, that's South Park. The they go on uh Eek a penis? It's like Chatterbait or something. They go what? On. Yeah, they're like, you can find new friends on here. Like this is the easy way to find friends. Oh fucking Cartman. Yeah. Trying to um or was it like, Omegle? The guy and he just like starts taking off his pants. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh no, nope, that's a weird one. That's like, a next. weird one. What's up, Renee Sergeant? Welcome, welcome, howdy. Maybe we should stop talking about it. <laughs> we are discussing the inappropriate nature of the internet. Damn our society. Uh, uh, um, what's into? Perverts. <laughs> That's still one of my favorites. The internet is always horny. God, I, ugh. Yep. How did the dinosaurs become extinct? Because you... Need, I need that, the dog. To f we, need, we need the dog with the bat to follow people around so that when they start acting horny, he can go bonk, go to horny jail. I think those memes, those memes are kind of funny. They're moderately funny. You know, I'm kind of glad we did away with this board. Why? And headers are very dumb. Man, though. What? Uh, yeah, you gotta. Fan? Yeah, you fan. gotta come up from the bottom on this. Reroute everything. Either that or we have a different kind of. Unless you want to use a non-standard one. You read Instagram comments? That's wild. Nah, I don't. I don't get on Instagram. Do you want one of these, or do you want to share? It takes SATA. So. Of course. Let me see if there's any deep pool hugs left. I don't think so. Oh my god. Uh, you got a big box so of crap shit. over there, huh? Shit. <laughs> Why do I insist on keeping everything? Well, this giant box of crap. My literal box of just. Ooh, that was close. That was almost drink down. I've tried to stay off as much social media as possible. You want any a company? I just don't like it. The only thing I've got is this. It works. Because you can just come all the way across with it. We only have one, but we can always get more. I think that came out of a Corsair case. Probably like 25 cents pop or something. I, hope, I would hope so. I mean, honestly, we could probably make our own. Yeah. Oh. I've seen that. 
that video of the, they pull a baby hammerhead shark out of the water and it just kind of like does like a uh. they like dub over just a guy going yeah here on my head yeah 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 goes all the way across uh do 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 Behold, wires. Has anybody, so before I said, I've only played about an hour of it. Oh. Has anybody played Death Stranding? We might have talked about this before. Not like, what, a year? It's been out for a while. Uh, more than that, I think. A uh, couple years, I think. I think maybe 2019, 2020. Because I remember, maybe, maybe a little less than that, but I remember talking to it, to a track recruit, um, about it and he was like super hyped up about it and then it finally came out and when he came to the school we talked to him again about it and he was like yeah fucking like don't get me started walking simulator 2021 <laughs> whatever um and uh i played the first hour and that first intro whatever super cool super like like fucking wicked like just like it's just interesting um, I remember watching it on stream, and that's not a so, good game to stream. No, no, definitely not. So, Nick, uh, I had a friend say almost the same exact thing. Um, uh, I think if you go into it expecting it to be, like, crazy interesting and that kind of stuff, I don't know. I think I'm going to try and keep going on it because I need sort of, like, an eerie, like, I want, like, an eerie sort of, like, almost horror style video game and Hideo Kojima makes really good video games um but with yeah uh but with like less combat because I don't always want to be like stressed out or I guess I don't I don't know um I like I like movie style video games um I think God of War was a really good in between where there's obviously a lot of action because it's sort of like a hack and slash style game um, Mads Mikkelsen is in Death Stranding, correct? Uh, he's, oh, he's so good. Such a good actor. And... Who's the Walking Dead guy? Uh... I just knows him as Daryl. Daryl. Um, <laughs> Norman Reedus. There yeah. you go. Thank you, Reedus. Whenever I think of him, I always think of uh, Boondock Saints. He's in that? Yeah. What? He was one of the main characters. I haven't seen Boondock Saints. He just shoots just, everything. Oh my god. Um, but the, the beginning of it, super weird, super interesting. But then, like, I sort of stopped playing after, like, the first, because I was, I was like, I was like, I don't know if I want to open this. It's almost ready for, I'm almost ready for bed. Um, Cause it was like 10, 10.30. And a little I scared like, before Betty. I don't care about that. I just don't <laughs> want to like get sucked into a game and then all of a sudden it's like two o'clock. Can't shut off. Uh, Cause I, I do that a lot where I like hyper fixate on a game and I'm like, oh, one more, one more mission. One more like cyberpunk. Oh my God. Just like one more side mission. Cause I want to try and like 100% the game. Um, and uh I used to play games right up until bedtime, and now I can't do that. Like, my brain has to, like, You gotta, wind, wind you gotta have some wind down time. Um, and I didn't want to get into that, so after the um, first, like, intro, um, I, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sucked me. All swaths suck me in, man. That game is insane. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love the art style. I like the gunplay and the weapons and the melee and all that kind of stuff. There are some things that are not great. I don't love the driving, but I've been using the um, uh, the flying car mod, which is just super cool. That is a little weird, but it just cuts down on travel time. Because the uh, no in uh, Cyberpunk. Um, uh, you should try it. It's uh, uh, it's on uh, uh, Nexus mods. Let there be flight. Um, if they ever fix the police. I don't know. I don't. I don't really get in with the police very often. Um, I try to stick to the script and not shoot 
too many civilians. Um, sure. Because like in, in uh, uh, GTA, whatever, because you can outrun them pretty well. In Cyberpunk, it's so hard to lose the cops because you, you fucking keep your wanted level for a couple minutes, regardless of whether or not like you're hiding. Pull down or something. I guess that might be what you're talking about, but I was not, not a fan of fucking around with the cops in Cyberpunk. Zip zips. You know, if you're careful, I don't, you know, depending on what you do. So I do a lot of like, obviously like a lot of the side missions and there's always like the cyber psychos and the, the NCPD, like, um, like pop-up stuff. Um, and I try to do a lot of that stuff cause I like, uh, Regina as a fixer. Um, and I've not had too much issue. Hiccups. Fuck. I got 45. <laughs> Who should I send the manager's Discord username to? Uh, sure. Not to volunteer, you, but you've been doing the. Yeah. I want to talk to him all. I'm works in the Discord. W E R K S. Thank you for that. It's not labeled at all on here, huh? Maybe. AFP. What? I see. Oh, on the actual plug? Mm. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta know it. You gotta know. You just have to have built PCs before. Keyboard because of the settings I have in my Wait, what? tower he says on the bottom right With the go xlr uh is that the cool. audio thing the go xlr the receiver or ever output whatever yeah yes There's use cool, cool. Oh. Is is the Go XLR is that literally just like a uh like a voice meter thing? Just a mixer? I'm probably just talking quiet. I'm, I'm just I'm just mumbling. That happens a lot. Happens when like we're on Discord too with my my headset. That's always like, fuck, it's like you're waving the mic back and forth in front of your mouth. Yeah. Sounds like you're talking like the mic's here and you're just going like this. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> if it's not, like, am I cutting out? If it's doing something weird, let us know. Audio's fine. Cool, cool. Neat. 
Yeah, it's probably just our little noise gate we get built in here. Talk a little soft and it cuts out. Didn't post because it had the B word in it. Try it again. And keep trying it until you get auto banned by Twitch. Oh, I see. Anyway, the same company that made them. You can mix with four physical knobs. You can figure out. It's amazing for contact issues. It's just set up. Yeah, buddy. We love that. Everybody loves audio. Audio is my favorite. I love audio. There was one time I used a software and I forget what the software is called um, in college because I wanted my game to come through my headset and my Netflix show or whatever I was watching on my TV to come through the TV. Um, and it wasn't a smart TV, so I just had to like keep plugged into the computer. Uh, and I used this audio software that would split it into two channels, which generally like, at least before, like computers had a, and either degraded it or had a really hard time dealing with it. Um, sometimes it just wouldn't do it. And that worked for a couple of months. And then either they updated it or Windows updated it and it broke it and it like, I could not get audio to play out of the computer until after doing like a full hard reset. It was so annoying. You just hate your life. Just do a two PC setup. Audio breaks like when you plug your USB in. Stinky. Like, ah. Huh? Yeah, buddy. What? You made a stinky? I made a stinky. Someone is stomping around upstairs. There's no way he has that much room to run around. I don't know. Kids can really do some damage in small, small spaces. Running around. No way. Uh, I know, kind of. Yeah. Anyone doing anything fun for the weekend? Take hot showers because I need to burn. What? <laughs> the buddy's house Saturday for drinks and games. Cool. You guys going to play Nightcrawlers? Oh. Look for jeans. Oh. Look for jeans under the bridge and boil them. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta boil your denim before you wear it. <laughs> it's a very important step. Remember. God, I can't wait to sit down and talk about how much I hate people's knees. Love magnets. They've already been doing. You couldn't see. There's a, I made a little tower. And this is the new tiny little temple that we'll pray to. Actually, I'm gonna get more of these LED strips and rip the magnets out. Oh boy. What else am I gonna do? It's Jeepu time. God damn, we have so many of them. Not butter, Jeepu time. Oh. Jackbox is good. Jackbox is always a good time. Yeah. I like a good fibbage. Good what? Fibbage. I play fibbage? Oh. Honestly, I am not a uh, board game or a card game person. Ooh, an Asus Duo. Duo. 
too loud. Ready for your big old wyvern? Yeah, buddy. Ready for the big race, coach. Let me in. I just need to get these magnets off. And then... Big old wyvern. Oh boy. Play peelies. All this wrap. Easy peely. Thank you, Asus. Sounds like a droid. Yeah, oh yeah. Holy moly. Have we had those before? Passes. We got a lot more of these coming in too. Uh yeah, the, the Montec case is great. The my only concern with it uh is getting the PSU in. It's it's very tight. Um, especially if you have cables using the pass-throughs on the bottom. Yeah, the bottom grommets. Um, if they're like, if they're thick cables like the USB ones are, it's then a, you kind of smush them a little bit. Not that good, but I don't know if you can tell very good, but you can see. What's up, Azo? We've been routing the cables down here. Like sort of across. Especially with the MATX board, it just it just makes everything look a little. Um, it goes across the bottom. You can kind of see it there. A little cleaner. If they ever need to troubleshoot the cables, it's also nice that they are accessible, like that. I don't ever feel right smushing. Well, you can help it. That poor magnet. <laughs> trying to get it out so I can have more. Need more. Some of these, they really lay the glue on. We'll cut out, but yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, we just tried a couple different options, and I think that's probably Dang, the best. What did I walk into? Uh, Pat's finishing up a siren. And I am extracting the magnets out of these really shitty LED strips that we get for free. With his teeth. Homie check, how you doing? Homie check. Checking on the homies. Of Gorb. That's so sweet. Oh, it says two eight pins. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Three uh, eight pins. Ah. Uh, up, howdy, howdy. How's your day going? Ours is good so far. Well, it comes with four RGB fans, and three of them are 140 millimeters, which is three beefy boys in the front. Stupendous. Axial airflow with two front panel options. Yeah, you can have glass or uh, airflow mesh. Same value class as the Landcool 216. Yeah, you know the Landcool. Ah, I was gonna say might have a little bit better quality, but I don't think there's anything really like. There's any like real proof to that? The new Harpy case. The Harpy oh, case. Oh, oh. Harpy Doobie Harpin. Uh. 
be a nice little touch if they did a rubber grommet heat. Yeah. What do you guys see? The harpy, the white harpy. Ooh. Our our magnet temple is now even taller. See? Don't like it. This is how we will pray to the um, PC gods, the vengeful PC gods. All hail the shop bot. Right. Plug in the piss you. What was it? The 4090 doesn't fit in at least the Strix version. Uh, doesn't fit in the Lancool 215. Was that was that a Jay's Two Cents video? Is one of those cases. PC gods demand blood sacrifice, not prayer. Well, you have to fit some prayer in, otherwise you don't. How do you know if you're communicating? It doesn't fit in the Lancool 205, okay. Ridiculous. Fits, but barely. I, I'm inclined to believe that, yeah. I don't know for sure, but sounds about right. All right, go to your home. I'd like to get, have you seen the uh, white Strix 4090? Mm, they, look, they look good, I sent a link to it. Um, yeah, if you're buying a 4090, you better not be buying a, a Landcool 205 or a 215 or a 216 or anything like that. Your, your budget should be a little more stout than that. You need a higher airflow case. 800 watt power supply. Honestly, the dual chamber, <laughs> dual chamber cases like the, 011 are starting to make more and more sense with um, uh, the big GPUs because you have those fans feeding a fresh air instead of like, even the height, you know, the height's not, move it the, over. the height cases, you know, it's not perfect, obviously, but uh, having the fans come up from the bottom and feed a vertically mounted GPU to go through the fins um, is, is a pretty solid solution to what rookie move some people call a fish tank case uh oh torrent would be good the torrents are very good especially with those big those two big 180 millimeter fans which my only beef there is it's hard to find luckily you can get rgb versions of the case with the fans um, or non-RGB if you if that's your thing, but it's hard to find like good 180 millimeter fans um, But on the flip side of that is that with a fan that big they don't they don't have to spin that fast um, uh, So they don't get that loud uh, You can't mount a 360 rad and push pull with the 80. No, you cannot um, Can you I don't know what the radiator set up on that case. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Ooh. I mean, you're doing great. Oh. In your fire. Does this even fit radiators? Because the power supply goes up there. Oh, look at that. It's right side up. Yeah, buddy. Evolution. You're leading a revolution. Fuck, it's such a good looking case. But I don't... I don't exactly know... What... What I would build in there. 
Those are the red brackets for the 60 in the front. I guess, but then you lose the two 180s and it just doesn't look quite right. If I were building in that case, I would either one, wait for someone to make a, uh, wait, oh my God, uh, two, 180 millimeter fans would be 360 millimeters long. We just need someone to make a radiator that is 180 by 360, have two fans. Now it would be probably the least rate, like least popular radiator ever. Um, I don't think there would be any other market for it other than cases like that, but it would be cool. Um, I like that power supply. The what? Oh, the fucking... <laughs> Shh, don't hear us. <laughs> um, That's a secret. And uh, can I post a link? Alf Cool made one. Uh, uh, post it in Discord, por favor. Bitta, bitta. Size fans in the front of the 216, are they 160 or 180? Um, yeah. Yes. Nope, I lied, it's a 160. I don't know, once you get past 140, I kind of just, it I just looks silly. I don't know what's going on. My um, old uh, Corsair case had that uh, one two two hundred. I think it was two fifty maybe. Two fifty on the side. Oh, is this for custom water cooling? No. Awkward, okay, man. somebody somebody needs to make a like custom like custom AIO kit. Like somebody's got to make so that you can just thread um thread it into like a custom radiator and then just have it go to an all like an all-in-one design up front and then you fill it from there kind of like how with the what do you call it um liquid freezer 2 you get a um you can get the the what are they called the rebuild kits or whatever with the gasket oh yeah the service um, kit and it's called a service kit, I think. Um, you can get a block pump res combo fittings and tubing with the rad for like, okay, so that's not terrible, but yeah, regular water block and hoses. Um, I guess that's technically in line. If you're going sort of like custom fit and you really needed it to work, yeah, okay. Um, that's not terrible because I mean, like Corsair's H150 ILCD is $300. That, um, that last night I was like, like, yeah, take out these two screws and then throw them away. I was like, uh, I'm going to keep them uh, until the yeah. end. <laughs> uh, they make a combo unit. For, it's all built into the CPU block. Um, so, yeah, if, you're, if you really don't care about aesthetics, you do not need to spend $200 on an AIO. Um, uh, well, for, I don't know, for $250 to $300, um, granted, you're going to end up with something that doesn't look as fancy, but I'm gonna have a bad time. You're at least gonna be still within commercial AIO, so IE like NZXT Z series and Corsair LCD series, um, versus like building a loop. You're looking at four to five hundred dollars. Um, World chat. Right. And yeah, but see, those are I, they're just so do something. fucking fat. So big, ugly. That is really ugly. Water block and reservoir. It is an option, though. You weren't lying. That is an option. I think I would ever do that in my build. Um, but I do know what you mean because, like, realistically, you could get a. How much are the um, liquid freezer two three sixties? Like one hundred and twenty bucks. Something like not expensive for I think the RGBs are like one thirty or something. Something like that. Um, 
do something, but I forgot. 420 millimeter. Yeah. You need the. Oh my God. Yeah, so it comes with that same. Those are some ugly fans. 49 millimeter. <laughs> is that a quick? Is that, a, is that is that meant to break out into a loop? It unscrews. I think it unscrews, not a quick connect. Um, Pre-built AIO version. Okay. So it's it is there. Big boy AIO cooler before. He can Arctic got competitive. Yeah, I see. Um, I just wish that. Like somehow oh, Corsair made their H150, like H H series coolers, uh, a little more modular. Ready? If I know how to take it. Do wow. Last. The glass. Ah. No recommended changes. Wow, we're doing great. Oh boy, is that our insight? Become plug. Become? In back. But yeah, I just wish Corsair would, like somehow could make it a little more modular so that it is a... All right. Maybe a quick connect or it screws on. Obviously you like add complexity and like failure points when you have a- Buying a longer cord tonight. Um, what? Buying a longer cord tonight. <laughs> okay. What are those on the feet? Yeah, they are, yeah, they are ugly. As long as they're functional though, I guess. Ew. Ugh. 1139. Three, two, one, whoopa. Woo! Yeah, that's what we're waiting for. Oh my god, everything lit up. Yes. Did it. Ta da. There will be no crying today. See you later. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ablaze, less. He was able to manage the time. Less, possible. Shit, that's what, that's what the scissors are for. I mean, why do you think, why else do you think they're here? Cut it out. And hey, Ryan's not here to tell us no. I really like the Montex stock thing. I do too, I like the, the mesh. mesh on the side, yeah. it's cool. The mesh right there. good ah. oh you just make it the full uh, sure look at that goodness Don't forget this comes with two front panels, mesh or glass. We do it with glass because it's safer for shipping. You breaking the cake and grabbing popcorn. Okay. Printer. Searching for llamas. It's our breeding. I don't like that. Bumbling oblique mink badger. Damn it, am I hungry again? You gotta control that, man. Dude, I don't know what the deal is. I feel like I blow through food just so quick. You know, most of our cases now, Unconsciously, I've just gone to hinge. I love it. I love hinge. 
better. I hate taking the panel off. <laughs> Frustrating. It feels like it's just gonna like let go and oh, like I didn't sink the shatter the Arjuba. Dang it. RGB sync now. Oh, look at those big fans. Oh. 5 volt RGB or is controlling? Uh, they are 5 volt RGB, but they are also plugged into a hub that is has its own thing. So, like, if for, I guess, if honestly, if for some reason you couldn't plug it into the motherboard, you can control it with the button. But if you long press and hold, um, Synced. Then it uh, syncs with the motherboard and it runs like every other. And these are I like I like these I like the RGB on these fans. They're not stuttery. They're uh, not like I can turn it off. That's cool. Hold the button um, long enough, it shuts off. But they're not. They're all. They're smooth. The the LEDs integrate well into each other. Um, they don't. They don't feel cheap. The L, like the RGB is RGB. Let's push air. They do push some air. And DRAM error, that's always fun. Oh, <laughs> Damn you, DRAM. Poopy butthole. Ram swap. Yeah, buddy. Shouldn't be too bad. Or do you want to maybe try reshooting it? That's sync, right? I think so. I don't know if it does. Yeah, it rain. Yeah, but it doesn't. The RGB doesn't rotate. Oh. And then there's that. <laughs> there's that. <laughs> I hate that. What happened? Uh, nothing is just cycling through the uh, the saved RGB profiles and there's one where it does the almost like marquee where it's like it changes and then changes and changes not like it's all like rotating around itself all right it's um in a better wyvern time big boy time Load. Load. I is the light again. Yo. Light bolts are on and off. And ah, I see. Why is ClickUp taking eat time? I want more shinai. Nani. Or Sun Pat. All right. 
What? My eyes always go to that. Sitting out in the corner. What is? Oh, it's Abby Pat. This is the. Two terabyte. Or. In four. Most of the people that order recently, depending on the size they order in the drive, are usually getting upgraded to 4.0. Because a lot of them are the same. <coughs> I think. Oh, no. Like a one terabyte 3.0 will be like 60 bucks, and then like a 4.0 will be like 65 bucks. Five more bugs. Do it. I'm gonna go pee real quick. Uh. Make sure you turn your mic off. <laughs> Don't want any dribbles. Minimum size PSU for a 4070 Ti and a 13670. Yeah, I think the manufacturer would probably recommend 850. 750, 750 probably work, but I'd be scared about like headroom. It's almost like we got our little studio now. Look at this. Dimmer. Buying fresh. It's not like I can just hold off and buying one and testing it. Yeah, don't. Definitely don't skip on that. I think it's on the edge. Go, go bigger. A lot of people skimp on the power supply and I don't get it. Like, yeah, it's cheaper, but man, I mean, I guess, worth it. <laughs> like for the extra hundred Watts, it usually only costs what? At most 25 bucks. Well, maybe not at most, but you can usually find good deals if you're vigilant. You might only spend like 25 bucks more for another hundred Watts or so. All it takes is that one power spike. Oh. If you're lucky, it'll just shut off. Hey, Brian Officer. Welcome. PC, PC, calling it Big Papa. Hell yeah. If any computer deserves to be called a Big Papa, it's this one. <laughs> 48A. I like it when. <laughs> yes, daddy. You get the special Zotac one. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Comes with a carrying case. Ta da. Carry ammo. Ah, 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 ah. Zotacs were my previous favorite for the 30 series. So, 
sure they did good things with the 40 series. Yeah. UFO. Does it have RGB all the way around, like the um, left, right, and top, I think? Might just be top. It looks like there's a line around there, unless they're just Ooh. false advertising. I did. I want to see it. Ah. Yes, 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 yes. Done. <gasps> Everybody having a good Friday so far? Fuck yeah. by fast you have too much to do before the weekend how it be sometimes Sweet. oh boy neptune harvey's mukbang you go like a chinese buffet mukbang <laughs> dude i used to love those when i was a kid like the chinese all you can eat buffets but now like Buffets just scare the hell out of me. Oh, just germs and shoddy food. Yeah. I think it got ruined for me when I was at a Golden Corral. They had just introduced the chocolate fountains. Oh God, people like stick their whole hands in it. There was this like six year old kid that could barely reach. He was going up there and he just stick his finger in there and lick it and then stick his finger Ugh. in Yeah, I was done. They just keep your immune system off point. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's why, yeah, maybe that's why sickness spread so fast. All the, a lot of Golden Corrals closed, I think. There's <laughs> no more, yeah, herd immunity from the Golden Corrals. Yeah. How do you feel about push-ups? <laughs> oh. No, you could do push-ups right now. Hmm. Oh. I wouldn't mind a couple. I always like a good push up. I like a couple. Of push -ups. It will not help with being hungry though. <laughs> Didn't you just eat? Yes. Oh, I don't. Holy. I don't understand it. Pat, you want to do Pat? some push ups? No, no push ups for Pat. No push ups for Pat. Oh my God, go in. I hate these. Or Sarah does too much. But like also simultaneously. I remember in like high school, they were like sadistic. They make us do like 60 push ups. Push ups? What are pike push ups? Is that. Um, what are pike push ups? Uh, what in there? What? Oh, like where you're kind of like at like this angle. I don't like those. Those, um. Wait, is it eight count like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or is it like down for four, up for four? I never said I, I wouldn't do 
eight count push-ups. Ryan said he doesn't want to do eight count push-ups. The self-administered uh, control. What about power setups? Well, I have terrible core strength. That was when you close your eyes and then oh, someone God. falls down their pants and yep. <laughs> Push-ups. Diamond push-ups aren't too bad. I think anything that is sort of like a more standard format I'm with. I don't want to do pike push-ups. That sounds like miserable. Hey, kinetic bongos. Hello. The raid. Yeah, hell yeah. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Fix and get bitey. <laughs> yep. Ryan took up his red shirt and quickly faded, so he had to go see the doctor. I cannot get out, I cannot escape. Come on. Well. Go back. Yeah? Yeah? Yes, 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 you guys. Like to put back fans in? I like to put back fans into people's cases when they don't ask for it. Those pesky back fans. Pesky back fans. Do some push ups now, folks. <gasps> Boy, do we hate upgrading NVMe drives, too. Boy, do we hate it. There's rubber inside here? I gotta bring in that cold plate. That thing is nasty. Ah. Make sure it didn't do it, Justin. Ah. Did the. The recall for the Arctic freezer coolers last night, and that thing was gunky. Dunk. There, there were no micro fins, put it that way. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> like you get in there and you kind of hope like, oh, maybe it won't have, uh, have affected it too, too bad. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's like, no. No, it was time. When's the next Phoenix versus Flock? Good question. Oh, we need to set something uh, up. Yeah. We've just been stupid busy. We've, uh, yeah, we've been stupid busy, like, getting our marketing plan going here. Mm -hmm. and finally got a bunch of it sorted out, so it's going to probably pick up here and Next month. We've got some things that will start to emerge over the next month or two. Exciting. Excited. Don't ship any PCs with those Samsung drives with the health bug. No. Luckily, somebody, we, we don't use Samsung drives. So. Somebody actually asked for a 990 at one point, and it was going to be like, a month until they were actually released and they were like, I want it, I want, it. they weren't like rude or anything, but they were pretty adamant about wanting it. And um, I think we just told them, no, we don't want to offer something that far out. And luckily we didn't. We pretty religiously used E&Y, Crucial. Kingston. Kingston. Those three for drives. All good, like, sort of your like, in like middle of the road but still sort of considered premium because they're still like name brand and uh, we've had really good luck with all of them so far probably like i think probably 90 percent of our 4.0s have been crucial yeah on P Y. on kingston 
Couple of, yeah, it's since the NV2s are out now, yeah. Yeah, P3 Plus. P3 Plus was a good one. Mm -hmm. P5 is even better. A little more pricey, but it's new. Yeah, P3 Plus, I think, was like 6,600 or something. Like, I think so. Something along those lines. Right. Pretty impressive. It's almost double, like, 3.0. They're fairly priced for that speed, too. Yeah. These are good drives. Crucial's always made, like, good stuff. Mm -hmm. The RAM is good. Dude, yeah. The... Ballistics. <laughs> the kit of RAM that I had was Crucial Ballistics, and that was the most overclockable kit I've ever owned. That Micron die. Oh. Huh. That the Crucial Ballistics is like the super low profile, like blacked out. Mine was... like matte black. Or were there, was there RGB options? No, because they had like yellow too. It was like yellow and black. Some huh. of the older ones. Yeah, it was a... Uh, see that hit. It was a 1600 kid, I think. And I think I hit like 24... Jesus, and GDR3 GDR3, uh, yeah. GDR3 terms, that's ridiculous. There's two in SSDs. Yes, it does. Does RAM speed affect gaming? Eh, probably depends on the game. Yeah. You gotta be careful though, because like overclocking CPU, like it can really crash like quickly. You, you can introduce a lot of instability. Um, very unstable. It will help reduce. Um, well, I, what's the difference screens. between frame rate and frame time? Well, obviously, like. Frame rate is. Is it frame rate what comes out of the display, and then frame time is the. Maybe yeah. Kind of like horsepower to the wheel. Sure. Just crank and then wheel. Mm hmm. Bank. Come on. I know it's. I'm pretty sure it's like how long each frame is. Uh, like displayed. Or is Probably. it how long it takes it to get? Somebody know? Probably way off on that. That was just a guess. Someone's got to know. Por favor. Por favor. Frame rate tells you overall performance level, while frame time says more about the experience of actually playing the game. That, that was, that's the worst, yeah. very like, what? what? Like explaining it to an infant. Tied together. Can't hear us. Huh? Oh, just you like. Right. 
probably a different website because that one's dumb. Do you have an ad in our channel? That sucks. What are you doing, Twitch? Why is frame time so much more important than frame rate? Oh. Oh, Zach. Zach, stop. Frame rate is in frames per second, and frame time is in seconds. Oh, seconds. Per frame. I don't think anyone actually knows. No, nobody <laughs> knows. Is frame time like a, is that like a buffer? If I see frame rate, I can tell you instantly the frame time because it's just milliseconds per frame. So it's just how long each one's displayed. Is it just a, a different way of measuring the same statistic? The same... It says inverse. Metric. I guess that would time is just the inverse time of per frame, frame versus frames per time. Between I don't think it's the time between frames. I think it's just literally the sort of sounds like it's just the time per frame. Frame rate. Yeah. I, I don't know, because then it sounds like frame rate is the time between the frames that they're displayed. Well, no, the, frame, the frame rate is how many frames is the rate. It's the frames per frame. Um, yeah, but it isn't that. And then frame time is how long each frame is. You know, 30 FPS would still have inconsistent. Because like that would be an average 30 FPS. So you could have, um, okay, so you could have like, Average, so let's just say the average frame time for 30 FPS is 15 milliseconds. I don't know the actual whatever, um, but you could have 30 FPS, but maybe have one frame that's 10 milliseconds and then the next one is 20 and it bounces back and forth like that. And so you could have inconsistent gameplay. Because inconsistent frame timing leads to stuttering, which can make it appear lower frame rate. Okay, that makes sense. That's the best one i that's one I've read so far. Makes sense to me. Just means some frames stay longer on screen than they should. That can feel stuttery. Okay, that makes sense. No one cares about frame time. <laughs> well, <laughs> sounds like frame time's more. I have 30 times. My frames, my frame time is faster than, than, than your, your, my, your, your dad's frame time is, is, is really high. And my, my mom said that when, that when I get a computer that, that my frame time is going to be, it, uh, that, that, that my, Frame time is going to be really, really, really low. And, and you, if, if, um, and that you can't tell me that my frame, frame, <laughs> that, that my frame time is, is, is high because it's not. Wow, how insightful. Hey, thanks, guys. I don't know why that reminded me of Jake. <laughs> what a, t t t a terrific audience. My favorite Jimmy episode is the Lord of the Rings one. He's trying to get the fourth or the, the sixth graders to stop on their bikes. He's like, you shall not believe. <laughs> is that the one where they're trying to get the, the tape? Uh, the the uh, yeah. uh, porno? Lord of the Rings was supposed to be, yeah, the real movie, but. Oh, because Lord of the. No, someone just put it in the wrong case. Oh, <laughs> I see. It happened to me when I was little. That scared the F out of me. What the fuck? Is that what? It wasn't a porno. It was. Oh, uh, okay. It was some like 
R-rated horror movie. But it was supposed to be like some PG movie. I remember my parents put it in and it was like this monster like that popped out of the grave and started like ripping kids' heads off. And I was Jesus. like, oh! <laughs> ah, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, God, no. It was Rawhead Rex. That was the name of it. Rawhead Rex. It's like a horse. It's like half horse head. Half human, man, half monster. bear, half yeah. pig. Google that stuff. That's some nightmares. Rawhead Rex. It actually kind of was like a man bear pig. <laughs> Minus, it was like a little less pig though. <laughs> I'm super cereal. Cereal guys. Nobody's taking me cereal. I'm not gonna help because you guys didn't take me. Man, people really hate us today. God damn. It is Friday, so. It is Friday. A little better stuff to do. I think it is also hard because we're just so inconsistent. Right? Whatever. Whatever. At some point, because I think there are brackets here to do, um, like, fans on the front. Like, on the front panel, you can do a mesh front panel. Comes with it. And then it comes with these. Maybe it's not these. Oh, no, it is these, I think. Um, I know the Evo comes with the GPU bracket, too. Mm-hmm. Maybe, uh, yeah, because I think these are for fans. The GPU one they have in there is kind of like the... Yeah, why one? What this big guy? Oh, it's got like the same little thing with the standoffs. Oh, well, this is exactly the same. All right, we're putting it in. And it's good for shipping. It's very good for <laughs> shipping. Don't say man bear pig. Ooh, ooh. Uh. And we're back. What? We drop. Click the intro. Oh. <laughs> Can't click it without going to it. It's annoying. I hold the LED. This is all hands. the mangled. <laughs> Bing bop button. Yeah. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. How are we going to stick them to the underside of Ryan's car? Uh, with double-sided tape. <laughs> or... There is... Your driver. I... Uh, the only ones I use today. Really? Where's my... Bulbous. I haven't seen that one today. Go check outside. Somebody took it. I'm going to be upset. That's a really good screwdriver. Took it. I'm going to lose. 
my freaking mind. Maybe you took it home and you slept with it. Uh, not yet. I'll need it at some point when I do hard work. But... Steamboat. Alright, I won't think about it for a moment. What happens when you have a 3D printer in too much time? Uh, that's Frenchy. <laughs> Frenchy the boat. Like that tugboat from that. South Park episode? Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it tug the is it the tugboat that gets cancer? His name is Tugger. Tugger. <laughs> How are we doing today, Tugger? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Muscle crow. Fighting, fighting uh, around the world. I'm gonna try those drum propellers. Yeah, I did I did do some research. You're really not supposed to 3D print drone propellers unless you like know. You can get it accurate because of like weight distributions. I've seen some that like explode. Um, the material too. Like. Well, PLA is kind of fragile, or not fragile, but it's a little brittle. Um, not shatterproof. <laughs> no, it is not. But I've seen, I've watched one of the, yeah, the videos you sent me, but then also a couple others, and the noise difference is insane. Even if there's zero thrust, like if it's the same exact thrust, the noise would be worth it alone. Like a regular five inch sounds like a pissed off bumblebee and then <laughs> yeah like the other one sound like a really beefy bumblebee like <laughs> oh <laughs> even got a little hole here for the propeller oh huh little pee hole uh. how's your day going tugger oh, oh. <laughs> Is it possible for us to source only motherboards with integrated I.O.? Uh, in, sorry, integrated like an integrated I.O. plate. Never yeah. get another one that moves. Might be a little more expensive. Yeah. Y'all see the AI piloted drone race done by some college team? Oh. Yeah, I piloted drone race. This thing? map the race course and allow the AI to calculate optimal race time. Pretty uh Have they done a they should do that versus like a real pilot and see what happens. That'd be cool. AI just like rams the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to lose and it's like I think destroy you man. Miles per hour, yeah. I'm gonna pretty quick. No, uh, I think my seven inch will do like 110. Oh, wait, was this? Are we talking like little drones or like military or like grade drones or whatever? Big ones. You're just talking about like the little racing ones you see on TV? Uh, ERL races and stuff? Yeah. 
like a little five inch. When you say five inch, is that the diameter of the blades? Prop size, yeah. A five inch, it's like, get full throttle, it's like, woo, woo, woo. I don't know, it's super high pitched. They're quite annoying, but well, I like my seven inch because it's like whoa, whoa. Big old blade. star Oi Tugger What is that green screen? Oh fuck yeah, we gotta set that up at some point. I wonder why it comes with um your shelf. up there Is, uh, it, is it that PC? Yeah, yeah we, we know. know. I was going to come out and deal with it. All right, I'll be back. Uh-oh. See a PC about a RAM issue. Man, about a RAM. Quad rotor. Screws. Yes. I'm very particular about my fan screws. I'm really not a fan of fan screws that have like tapered heads. Not quite sure why. Also like when they, they prefer that they all match. Help it.
pouco mais.
What's up, Bonnie G? Thank you for the uh, tier one sub. Sub for four months. Let's go. I am good. Building a that PC Friday. Uh, Fox, uh, Fox Blades, hello. You're already in here. Well, again. Auntie, how's your day going? Hopefully you're having a good Friday.
good. Dealing with cold with prevail. Cool. Good. Good. What's up, uh, Spirit 2? Sofa King, happy. Oh, <laughs> it's finally Friday. Yep, yep. Love a good Friday. Has got any uh, fun weekend plans or anything like that? Miss, uh, large, big PC. That's about it. Five, your own ring, some quests at the end game. Cool. How many, uh, how many hours have you put into it? Is there a, um, is that clean, like physically clean or like clean out your drives and shit? Both are important. Hundred and one hours, holy moly. That sounds about right for that kind of game. Physical clean, but cleaning storage is also a good idea. Yeah, I like to every now and then just because there's a lot of stuff that I don't use, or especially if I like, you know, download a large file that happens to be zipped because it came from somewhere it wasn't supposed to. Um, if I know I haven't had issues with the game in a while or I don't need to like reinstall or like fetch any files, I'll like go back and delete the um, store stuff or yeah, like delete games. Um, games that I like know that I downloaded because I thought it would be cool to play them or I was like, oh, if I just, you know, I just want to have them ready just in case, but then I just don't touch them. And in some cases it's been like a year, so. 
A lot of stuff I just leave installed anyway because I've got like nine terabytes of storage. So I'm like, might as well. And I don't, definitely haven't even used like half of it. It's a lot, it's, it's all SSD space as of right now. Um, and it's just SSDs I've collected, bought, went on sale, or, you know, got from a friend or something like that. Yeah, I have seven, seven drives in total. Which, honestly, I don't love because of just the organization factor. Um, I'd really rather have like just like two four terabyte drives but I will say that having so many drives is at least nice for I don't have any of them like what is it striped or running in raid or anything like that um but it is nice for you know if one drive fails you only lose one terabyte of of storage instead of one drive fails and you lose four terabytes of, of data. So there's something to be said for a lot of little drives.
Oh, it's raining outside. Fucking hate when it rains. I like the smell of rain. Just don't want to be in it or drive in it. Yeah. Okay, you just missed your build. Uh, that is correct. Well, not just missed. I've been working on this for maybe 30, 40 minutes or something like that. Um, you do have a clip of your build getting turned on though. Um, We go. Ah. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. A, uh, a very well put together PC. Uh, you made some great part decisions and um, it's getting, there was a um, DRAM error, uh, but we're getting that fixed, just a RAM swap. Uh, and then we'll test it. Um, get initialized, bench test it, and then ship it out um, probably on Monday. And then depending on where you live, 
there in a couple of days. You're close. Close to gaming. If this plastic doesn't come off, I'm close to jumping in the ocean. Not with the plastic, of course. I'm not going to bring the plastic in the ocean. Yeah, uh, Krill P1, um, if you aren't already, is it? I am just in, uh-oh, okay. Sorry, I wasn't on the right screen. Oops, um, I'm, I'm not new at this, I'm just dumb. Uh, so bear with me. There we go. Uh, join our Discord as like a like a small plug. Join our Discord, um, and when you get your PC, uh, post post some pics of it in the build channel and check out other people's PCs and talk with some cool people about PCs and send memes about PCs and. I think the only channel that isn't associated with PCs is the food channel. Aquacore isn't in here to talk about his food, but he posts food a lot. It always looks good. I mean, we're eating, we're eating beans, beans and rice. Nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to know. It's fine. It's all, it's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. I'll just, I'll just lay down in six inches of water, it's whatever. As it's whatever. He's back. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Always good. Sounds like a good trade to me.
much bigger is the Evo than the XL. Uh, it's actually the other way around. The Evo is the roughly the same size, if not the same size, as the original O11 dynamic. And then the XL is just the bigger brother. And there, I think there's going to be a O11 dynamic Evo XL that will be the second gen to the first XL, and it'll be bigger than this by... I forget exactly what it is, but it'll be a couple inches, I think. Looks got to make me work today. That's a phenomenal question. You know, I gotta say, I, I really like Corsair's stuff and I don't mind the long cables, but you, you end up with things like this where you can kind of see it on the other camera with just a big fat fucking hub with one, two, three, four. 15, 15 connections in it, um, right? No, I definitely miscounted. 12, six, nope, I think I'm stupid. Uh, 16, oh my God. Oh, dear Neptune, I need food. 
it's a lot of it's a lot of cables, regardless. Um, Well, well, well. But that is why. And sort of the point I was making, I don't know if I already said this, I'm just all over the place, is that they don't make it very user friendly. Um, they don't make it very be beginner friendly. Because like realistically, you can just, you could just plug them in and be done with it and just shove it wherever you want to shove it. Um, that's not how, that's not how we roll. The QLs can be a, a, a tad, a tad ridiculous. Oh my God. Yeah, I was just fixing that siren I just built. It was a uh, motherboard version of 0.1. But not boot on 13th gen. Ridiculous. That was the last thing I tried. But... Usually is. Problem le solved. Should be here soon. Yeah. The tonger. Mm -hmm. Got the CPU or the uh, computer out there, just like on its side, like bare bones, like no. <laughs> off or K processor. Yeah. I mean, we're phasing them out. Like, all our 13th gen A, so. KFs. No more KFs. Which makes troubleshooting for everyone better. Mm -hmm. They are, they are a little more expensive, but I think it's, it's worth it, ultimately. Yeah. Usually only like 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. Worth it. Up 
E or E EMD propulsion. Bad news. TikTok has gotten rid of OBS support. Not Fuck you. Oh. Yeah, but I know a way around that. If you can get me a stream key, a TikTok stream key, I can do it. All I need is a TikTok key. They are not passing out willingly. Which is so weird because I feel like I see a lot of like small channels streaming. Yeah, I mean, there's people with like two viewers on TikTok like streaming on their PC. What are they doing that? Because the agencies I talked to, like, I think they wanted like 100,000 followers and stuff. And now, to be fair, when I struck, when I scroll past a uh, someone who's live on TikTok, I immediately swipe away. Yeah, I don't. Although, oh, a lot God. of people that just live on TikTok, though. There was one time that I um, watched a guy peel the shell off of an egg, like once. I like watched his stream for like. 10 minutes one time and it showed it to me like it kept popping up it just kept coming back and back and back and back stream 30 hours a month and show consistency um do we do that do we stream 30 hours a month uh right now i don't think so 30 hours a month that's not that much. Our streams are usually like what, four hours? Uh, no, closer to two and a half. No way. It depends. One PC is like two and a half. Start at, we usually start at one, we end at like. Past couple, if you even check, I think, four, but I'm pretty sure yeah. the past couple have been um, relatively short. All right, so. If we pick up here though, like yeah, the next one. that'll that'll change, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so if we stream three days a week, we're good. Okay. Even if bare minimum two and a half hours. And we definitely have consistent, like we're weekly. Um, mm -hmm. We have a schedule, so I don't know. We may not be able to hit that right now. Definitely were. We definitely will be again. Yeah, we just, we kind of slowed down here because uh, our marketing was kind of lacking. And... Yeah, all I need is a stream key. I'll make it work. Appreciate you trying to help us on that. Why TikTok just doesn't like release the stream keys? Do they just not want TikTok flooded with live streamers or? Well, I mean, no, because then you just live stream on your phone. Yeah. I don't think they want PC <laughs> trying to keep it a mobile platform. Whatever, they have the reasons. Pretty reason. What's TikTok owned by? Is it Chinese? I wonder how big TikTok is in China. Oh, it's ten cent. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> ten cents like. Are they the only company in China? Yeah, ten cents like the only media. Amazon of uh. China.
Swap all that stuff for LeBron. Put the real CPU back in there. Back. Oh, cool. Thank you. Ah. I was wonder who did that. Me. It was probably me. Make for a better mobile installation, huh? Clean yourself.
felt like a very abrupt long switch.
We're getting close. Um, what's it say? Oh, uh, it is, it's thermal printers. It? Yeah. Um, well, that is because we've only got one thermal printer. Um, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is at least our uh, oh geez, premiere, uh, grand, the grand unveiling of a Zotac 40 series card. Never seen these in person, so very excited. What the fuck? is going on. Oh, it is sealed. That's always a good sign. Fuck is this packaging? I I don't like this. We're off to a bad start though, Tech. Why is this upside down? No, it's not upside down. I'm just, again, probably dyslexic. <laughs> Big. What the fuck is this? Oh, How the fuck does this go? Oh, I see. I'm just stupid. That's cool. It comes with a GPU support thing, and you got your little. You're just in time. Look at the uh, back that it comes with. It'll work in any other case except this one. Nine fifty X, baby. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm waiting for. Still rocking a ten fifty Ti. Well, there's no shame in that. Whatever keeps you gaming. This is a big fucking card. 
Jesus. O-F-O, O-F-O, O-F-O. It is a, yeah. Yeah. Ben? Looks like it's got a button though. In a button. Button. No. Ooh, spooky. Why is it that we have three slot back plates now and we still only have four outputs? Like I know that I think technically you can only run four output puts like, like driver wise, but pull an Asus or a gigabyte and just include an extra HDMI cable. I I really don't understand. Like I get that I get that DisplayPort is better, uh, but with the advent of HDMI 2.1, there is still a need for multiple HDMI outputs and for people that have multiple monitors that aren't all DisplayPort. I mean, some don't. So I guess I mean okay. You really want to split hairs, get a get an adapter, sure, whatever. But what if somebody doesn't want to buy an adapter? It just seems like extra steps. And I can't tell if those are RGBs all the way around or what the deal is, but this is a pretty, what does that button do? Are you telling me, okay. There is a, the, I'm not gonna open the box again, but there is a little connector right in there that is I think for RGB. Um, but I'm not really sure how you would go about plugging it in because that probably entails taking off the back plate. And if I had to guess, that might void the warranty, although not necessarily. Um, it just seems it's nice that they give you the option. I will give them that. But it's like, it just seems a little divisive. Is that the word? Probably not. I'm illiterate. Don't listen to me. Can we even shut the fuck up and put the goddamn card in? Oh, yes, click. Don't give me the nervous look. Oh, this is gonna be even tighter, isn't it? Tight, tight, tight. Cables. A multiple cables. Ah. Uh, 
retreats. Yeah. Not, not I, said the cow. I'm really digging this new this new GPU support. It's a little bracket that I don't know if we showed you last time, but it's a little bracket that screws into the standoffs for the motherboard. Um, and it's like it's two really long standoffs that you know put the motherboard down over the regular standoffs, and then you screw those super long standoffs in, and then you mount a little. It's a, a thin little bracket with a bunch of holes in it, and then you get one of these. These guys, these things, not that it super matters, but a little right angle thing and it's got space to sort of move up and down. And so, um, you know, you put the bracket down and then you get the GPU in place and you kind of like stick your tiny little baby hands in there and, uh, you know, get the, get the screw seated so that this is, you know, nice and uh, almost secure so you can still slide it up and down and then you slide it up just enough so that you just barely push on the gpu just a tiny bit um not enough to really make it move but just that instant before you know that the gpu is going to move if this is making any sense at all and then once it's in place you tighten down the back plate obviously don't strip it but you want it nice and secure. I think it was Jay's Two Cents who originally talked about like really like over tightening, um, uh, really over tightening the back plate screws so that kind of helps secure it in place. And I think with the support and a proper kind of foam, um, we are probably safe to uh, get these like this because of the what two 4090 builds we've done um, uh, both we've taken the GPU out and we've cleared it with the customer first to make sure they were comfortable with putting it but taking the GPU out putting it in its own box and then packing it with the rest of the computer just sort of helps um, helps the uh what do you call it uh oh mama mama ma. oh mama ooga ooga keep it safe doc um Honestly, there's really like, we, we pack everything full with um, uh, expanding foam and we make sure that it doesn't like push on stuff. Um, it's, all, it's all very safe. But we, if somebody were to, and we pack the PCs well, we use uh, like the boxes that the parts come in and bubble wrap and the closed cell foam that kind of stuff, but you can pack a PC as well as you want. If you drop it from even hip height, it's not gonna be good. Um, I mean, you'd have to have the entire thing encased in expanding foam. That's not economically or like functionally viable. 
At least not yet. Naked. Oh, yeah, that's my bad. Dude, I want to see you guys. Not you guys, not chat. Just the MV2s or the MV1s. I wanted to really get a feel for them. They're inside. You said it. I did say it on stream. <gasps> did you just throw one out? Heard it here first, folks. Pat's throwing out PC parts. Fuck that. See me outside. But it's raining. Only. Only. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. I don't say it. <laughs> Everybody stay fucking calm. like thick thighs save lives didn't say that stuff oh that's funny You think a 4090 would fit? It should. Um, the 4090s, you, I think the 4080 and the 4090s currently are within fitting distance of each other. You don't want to. You don't want. You don't want uppies. What? Um, yeah. Huh. You know, it's funny, there was a moment as the 4090s were getting announced um, and all of the board partners were starting to like launch their designs. 
Um, it was starting to look like for a second before, uh, well, I think with the Evo it was fine, but there's one 4090, and I think it might be the Gigabyte version, uh, that does not fit in the standard O11 dynamic. It will fit in the Evo because the Evo's case has more depth to it. Um, but if you got an original 11, you're out of luck. But only if you've got a Gigabyte 4090. I think it's a pretty specific, a pretty specific use case where you might be fucked. God, I can't wait until um, GPUs require uh, four, four cables, and then all of a sudden GPUs don't have, or PSUs don't have enough slots. Like this has three cables. I guess you could technically use one of the daisy chains, but those are like sort of illegal. Uh Oh, yeah. Looking at one on Craigslist. Yeah, I would I would honestly avoid the original O11. Um, it's even if you can find the original one, like cheap, like relatively cheap, like I, I don't know if I'd buy it used. I, mean, I guess you could try and go for an Evo. If, if you want a Lee and Lee O11, um, Ultimately, it's just a better case. It's a little bit easier to build with in general. Um, it feels a little more modern, just, just by a hair. It's not crazy different, but I think quality of life, you'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised, um, especially building in one, if that's, if that's your goal. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. What? Maybe. Oh, tongues here. Okay, that, Jesus, it really does look like a fucking UFO in here. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that fucking card. This is a nice PC. I... What's up, Tongue? Yeah, he is.
Oh, check out the uh, Zotac card. Look how fucking big it is. And just, it looks like a fucking spaceship, 4080, yep. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Brian? Brian, this is uh, this is your PC. Oh. Forbidden Company. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, we like to call it redacted, but Forbidden Company is a is a good way to put it too. <laughs> Thanks for coming to check us out. Nope. This is it. I really like this card. I do too. Yeah, but I would if you're gonna spend the money. <laughs> that's the problem. That's um that's all of our that's all of our issues. I do too. I'm just. No. I can take a uh, raw, so that will help out a lot. Okay. Yeah, dude. Brian, officer has a sick setup for. I I thought I was talking flight sims. I was talking <laughs> like Microsoft Simulator. Bam! <laughs> like, yeah, I bet you play on a controller, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and seven rise. Hope everything's going good with every uh, with your PC. I'm glad you got a quality build. You might plan a real. Ryan, Ryan, tell us what you do for work again. Hey, I'll show you your cables. And uh, Brian, um, so we do this for all the PCs, but just in case you're curious, um, you've got two drive bays up here and <laughs> routed to the drive bays um, are, um, Data, data power and data. You've got two SATA data. So if you want to put hard drives or SSDs in there, you're welcome to. And then your hardware for installing said SSDs, you've got, there are some like screws and little rubber grommets in, in here. There's a little plastic box. Um, but if you don't have SSDs, then this will be plug and play. Um, about it and you've got a lot of fans um got 10 of them uh i i put up just a non since you had the the extra three um put a non-rgb in the back just to help a little bit um and i will say so you got 13900k these do run hot so if you see like you know, especially running Jack. something like Microsoft Flight Sim, if you're seeing like 80 or 85 degrees, like don't freak out. Um, if you do, if you are worried for any reason, send us an email, uh, and we'll be happy to either confirm or deny your fears. So, oh yeah, normal. Yeah, totally normal. We're we're still getting used to the temps with the 13 series. Um, CPUs, they, they run hot in general. Um, they love two 8-pin connectors. They sure do. Sometimes they won't boot with one. Three in one day shit. Yeah, which is, uh, of course, standard. That's we were talking about that earlier. It's, fu it's kind of fucking annoying that they don't put, at least, because I know uh, Asus does it, they'll put another HDMI down here. And you'd think with a three-slot design that... This uh, it should be DisplayPort yeah. 1.4 and HDMI, which I think are both the most up-to-date. 
versions. And then yeah, there's your cables or lack thereof. Uh, that's what the scissors are for. We just, who knew that less cables meant a faster computer? It blew our minds. Yeah. It builds fitting with that card because it looks like a UFO. It really does. For flight sim. Device update to 4070 Ti. There's no more. <laughs> it's like we, we share an intimate moment, Ensign. I touch something, <laughs> I send it to you, Stop. you touched it, <laughs> and you, it's still in your life to this day. And, and now you come back around, and you're you're back into our channel, and you're back in my life. It's very sweet. <laughs> it's a very intimate moment. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Brian. I used to like that was used to be my dream job to be a flight attendant. Flights, flights. Yeah, dude. Flights, oh, flights, flights. Sorry, sorry. So the production right. value going on here. This uh, is <laughs> oh, Brian cool. Officer's PC and. I'll say if this doesn't turn on, um, you're going to see crying. a grown man cry. Uh, Ooh. And uh, three, two, one. Oh my god, look at that card. Look oh. at that fucking card. Oh, well, it's UFO. Oh. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. I'm, I'm going to look up Delta's website. <laughs> Luckily, the cable. Uh, does not seem to be bending too much. Latech has the best startups. Mm. It's like an old arcade. It's like, ah, <sighs> damn. Holy yes. Oh, even the symbol lights up. That's cool. Backplate. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then the uh, top fans will, they are spinning, but they'll they'll get lit up during setup. IQ has some weird issues with startup for some reason where the commander that comes with it doesn't always light up right, a right away. It needs to be told. Um, to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking good, good pick, man. And yeah. I got to say, we really appreciate the support, uh, especially big orders like this. It's not only fun to build, but it's, you know, it looks sick. Fucking just great. We appreciate you, Brian. You have many f successful flights. <laughs> Those tomahawk boards are hard to beat, man. Just the amount of IO and mm -hmm. uh, front oh, RGB yeah. strip up here. Thank Braythorn for the recommendation. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah. That Just... man brings a lot of business our way. Try to scratch his back every chance they get. And then you do have, um, when you go to peel the glass off, uh, there is plastic on, on both sides of the glass. Um, so what you'll do is you'll take the top panel off and there are two tiny little screws Christ, you can really see. but uh, there are two tiny little screws that you'll need to undo and then the glass just tips forward and comes up and then just you know sort of same deal just goes in and why didn't we have this set up at like back to dimmers and <laughs> I don't know, man. We weren't. We, we tried, yeah, but there, there was like there was like too many, um, too many fucking red tape and you know things. As soon as you innovate, someone gets upset that they weren't yeah. involved. Easy. It's like off. Well, we also didn't have. Um, a stream deck until like what november december we, we did uh, we did like we would use it for like all oh, the wrong reason no it was always there it was just off 
sitting there not plugged in. Yeah. yeah. That gap always gets me though. Big Papa's alive. <laughs> Big Papa is alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a sweet PC, man. Use enough to build it. I see. Buy local. And my. Ah. Nice colors. I sure hope they do. Don't forget to, you know, get all your stuff set and post a uh, testimonial on Braythorn's Discord if you feel like it, since you came from him. Yeah, I'd like to see, like, your This whole, is a good one to show off. Yeah, his whole rig still, like, Brian got set. Here, yes, so. absolutely, yeah. Join yeah, our cool join stuff. our Discord. Join our Discord and send pics of your uh, your setup. We love seeing that shit. How often do you get to stay home? Are you, it's like a tenant's life. Are they always on the go, Brian? Or you get to stay home and get, be home for a fair amount of time? Probably gets like a week off or something and then he flies for like what? Two months or something? Or, I don't know. I always wondered that too. Uh. Oh. Pretty cool. Ooh, ah, oh. ah. God damn. Horrible noise. Okay. As much or as little as you want. What? Do you get paid per oh. The you per eat, flight? You eat free. <laughs> I always have fascination with airports like I I've, I've, I'm asking for a friend because he needs a part-time job. As long as I'm not in a rush, as long as I'm not in a rush, I like yeah. I like airports. Like the culture on an airport, like always, like man, everybody's just going. It just seems like they have a purpose. They're just like in a hurry, and it's just like big city vibe in a very sterile one. Mm -hmm. I always like so Southwest. So you hope that it's sterile. <laughs> like Southwest attendants or whatever, they always had the jokes. I want me like. There's no smoking on the plane, but if you feel like you need to, you crawl it on the wing, and if you can light it, you can smoke it. <laughs> I think Frontier, Frontier is about a joke now. Southwest is pretty classy stuff now. <laughs> Jeez. All right, cool. Let's uh, find someone to raid. I feel like flight attendant parties would be pretty fun. Ooh. Like, they just have, like, you know, you're off stuck one night or something. Oh, and... yeah. Everyone gets trashed in the hotel That's room. That's fun. Pretty good fun. Alright. All raid. We all raid. Ghostbusters. What, N7? You only flown once? Drive everywhere you go. Gym time? Yeah. Have a ghoul. Um, 25 minutes. All right, folks, we're gonna we're gonna raid Nephis QS. Uh, looks like they're playing Elder Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls. Have a ghoul over here. Um. Yeah. All right. Hope everybody has a good weekend and had a good Friday. Brian, we'll get your PC initialized and ready to go, and then uh, it should ship out on. Assuming assuming everything's good, assuming there's no issues with parts or whatever, there's always a possibility. Probably Monday. Monday is a safe safe bet. Regardless, you'll get a update with the tracking number and everything. Correct. And again, if you have any questions, let us know. Monday holiday is Monday oh, holiday. Is holiday. Right. Okay. What, what's um, Monday holiday? Oh, I mean, pesky presidents. Technically, we can still get it out on Monday. <laughs> it is on a twentieth. 
Oh, thank you for trying to let us down. I bet, I bet UPS is open on Monday. It might be. Dude, we'll we'll give you an update. If we don't get it out Monday, we'll tell you. Uh, thank you for reminding us. I always forget about price. Dude, I'm surprised. No, no, no. UPS still open. USPS won't be open. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like UPS, like our UPS rep is so backed up. Not Even the drivers. <laughs> Alright, let's start this raid. Thank you guys. Show them some Phoenix love. Spam some of our uh, weird emotes. I don't know. Uh, have, like, have you guys unlocked the cash money emotes? We got. Uh... Have you ever wondered what the cash uh, cash money emotes is? That was me and my buddy <laughs> Shane. <laughs> oh, that's a cool one. When'd you get that? Uh, I found it because uh, you had sent it in Discord, and I was like, "Fuck, I need that." And I found a uh, uh, file that someone had posted on some uh, website or whatever, and I downloaded the GIF. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Bye See you guys. guys. See you probably Wednesday, maybe right. or next Friday. I don't know. We'll Something see. like that. <laughs> Wednesday or Friday. Bye. Bye.